Today at YouTube, I've got a uh, drywall hack. Um, don't know if I'm the first one to come up with this, but doing some drywall in my garage and I uh, came up with this today. Uh, as you can see, the top half, or the top uh, joint there is about uh, an inch and a half, two inches shy of the ceiling. And with one person, it's difficult to uh, lift that up and get the screws in there. So uh, I did have a piece of wood that I was basically shimming it up with, but with the joints uh, on the ceiling and you know the, the floor varying in thickness uh, you know it wasn't quite working as well as I hoped I needed to apply pressure sometimes to square it up so uh, I made a little uh, basically a little pry bar so I need about three inches of lift uh, so I got a two by four in there it's a, so obviously an inch and a half thick uh, so this is what I've made there's just two screws essentially on the back there screwing into this piece this would be the handle it's longer it's about three four feet long and uh, this is what the drywall will sit on and you can see here it's just sitting underneath and what I'll do is I'll just uh, demonstrate how I pry it up and I'm able to uh, screw it in. Just pay attention to the top half of the uh, drywall. All I do is throw a screw in first, get it started dry up on this, comes up pretty square, dry my screw up. At this point, I can use my foot under here too if I need a little bit more, because it's just one side now, it's not pulling square anymore. Second screw in there and away you go. So, nice tight joint. And uh, yeah, here's a closer look at the piece. All it is, that's where the drywall sits. Two screws in there, too easy to do. So, hope that helps you guys. Um, and uh, best of luck. Comment and like if, you're, uh, if you like what you see.